Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Bulfatih. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will patronize tomorrow, Tuesday, May the 18th, the inauguration ceremony of the Northern City. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued a circular regarding official working hours during the holy month of Ramadan of 1439 Hijri year. The circular stipulated that official working hours in the ministries and public institutions will be from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired today the weekly cabinet meeting at the Gudabiya Palace. The cabinet extended deepest congratulations to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa and the Bahraini citizens on the holy month of Ramadan. The cabinet wished Bahraini leaders and people as well as the Arab and Muslim nations many blessings and happy returns marking the auspicious occasion. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister lauded His Majesty the King's visit to the United Kingdom and his meeting with Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth II, highlighting the role of such visits in strengthening and deepening the long-standing relations between the two friendly countries. While commenting, commenting on the field visits to various regions to collect first-hand information about the level of government services and to identify the citizens' needs there, including his recent visit to Al Hid, His Royal Highness the Premier gave directives to the Housing Ministry and other relevant authorities to expedite the implementation of the Al Hid housing project, distribute its units to beneficiaries, and complete the services, facilities, and projects that serve the citizens there. His Royal Highness the Premier also gave directives to meet the citizens' needs regarding all services, stressing that the citizens' voice should always be heard at ministries, government departments, and services entities, which he said have to take the initiative and respond to the citizens' remarks and complaints raised at various media outlets without delay. In this regard, the Prime Minister instructed the competent government department to examine the citizens' remarks in al bahir concerning power cuts and those of the al Jala village concerning housing and to solve them accordingly. Tackling economic issues, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister highlighted the importance of the investment forum Gateway Gulf held recently under the auspicious of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince in attracting investments to the country and in promoting the investment opportunities in Bahrain and other Bundi countries in the region. On health, His Royal Highness the Premier stressed the need to take the quality into account while purchasing medicines and tighten control and monitoring on medicine purchases to verify their effectiveness and safe use within the framework set by the World Health Organization. In this context, the Prime Minister instructed the Ministry of Health to coordinate with the Supreme Council for Health, represented by the National Committee for the Unified Purchase of Drugs and the National Health Regulatory Authority regarding the matter.
The meeting added the new individuals and entities to Bahrain terrorism list and mandated the competent authorities to take the necessary actions. Within the cabinet's keenness to follow up on the progress of government projects aiming to provide high quality infrastructure that meet Bahrain's present and future needs in the roads, sanitation and construction, the Minister of Works, Municipalities, Affairs and Urban Planning gave a presentation about the projects that had been put out to tender in the first quarter of this year. According to the Minister, a total of 41 infrastructure projects were presented. The cabinet approved the budget of the Arab Regional Center for World Heritage, ARCWH, to continue its role in preserving global human heritage in the Arab world. The session discussed the opening of a Bahrain branch for the Washington DC-based Global Entrepreneurship Network, GEN, and referred the memorandum to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs. The cabinet endorsed the registration of the Gulf Chemist Union, GCU, in Bahrain, and instructed the competent authorities to take the necessary procedures. The cabinet referred three draft laws to the legislative branch. They included a bill on the Bahrain Future Generations Fund, a draft law on adding a new article to the Civil Service Law 15 BIS, and a bill on amending Article 22 of Decree Law 25 of 1998 on private educational and training institutions. Israel Highness Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa held a phone call today in which he congratulated Malaysia's Prime Minister Dr. Mahathir Mohamed on his election as Prime Minister. Israel Khan as a Premier hailed the long standing bilateral relations, wishing his Malaysian counterpart success in pushing on with his country's development process and further boosting the bilateral relations. The Malaysian Premier expressed appreciation of His Royal Highness, the Premier's noble feelings, and his keenness to promote cooperation relations, looking forward to enhancing relations in the interest of the two countries. Upon the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and under the patronage of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Royal Charity Organization, the RCO, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the Secretary General of the RCO, Dr. Mustafa Sayyid, opened today the Bahrain Intermediate School for Girls in Abu Nasir town in the Hashmid Kingdom of Jordan. On this occasion, His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks and appreciation to the Honorary President of the Royal Charity Organization. His Majesty the King for supporting friendly countries and nations and His Majesty's directives to continue providing humanitarian assistance and aid to support Syrians and alleviate their suffering. He hailed the efforts of His Majesty King Abdullah ibn al Hussein of Jordan in supporting humanitarian work to help Syrians. His Highness hailed the support the organization receives from the government led by His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman al Khalifa and the support of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister bin Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed Bahrain's keenness in supporting Syrian refugees in the current humanitarian condition they are going through and providing the services they need. He also commended the efforts of all official and civil bodies in Jordan, which reflects the deep rooted relations between both countries' leaderships. The Royal Charity Organization has established a number of projects for Syrian refugees in Al Zaatari camp, including the Kingdom of Bahrain's educational complex consisting of four schools, the Bahrain Residential Complex consisting of 500 ready residential cabinets, the Bahrain Social Center for Creativity, the Bahrain Residential Complex in Al Azraq Refugee Camp consisting of 1,000 ready residential cabins and the Bahrain Basic School for Girls in Irbid. The Governor of the Southern Governorate, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa, received at his majlis the preachers and imams of the Southern Governorate mosques, headed by Chairman of the Sunni Endowments Council, Sheikh Rashid bin Mohammed Al Hajri. The Governor congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and the people of the Southern Governorate and the people of Bahrain on the of the holy month of Ramadan. The governor praised the great and influential role of the preachers of mosques in consolidating good values in society and their clear efforts in implanting the correct Islamic concepts, pointing to the importance of strengthening cohesion and solidarity among the members of society. He pointed to the importance of building the community, praising their role in preserving the society's identity and stability. He stressed the keenness of the governorate to support all initiatives and programs 
programs that contribute to enhancing communication and cohesion among the people of the province during the holy month of Ramadan, stressing that community communication is a key feature of the Southern Governorate and an authentic characteristic characterized by the community. For his part, Dr. al Hajri delivered a speech expressing his sincere thanks and appreciation to Sheikh Khalifa, praising his efforts in serving the Southern Governorate. Sheikh Dr. Abdurrahman Bhutti, the preacher of the Abdurrahman al Rais Mosque in Rafah, gave a speech on the good word and its virtue in Islam and its effect in enhancing the bonds of love and brotherhood and spreading the affection among the members of one society. At the end of the meeting, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali said the meeting emphasizes the role of the government in the community communication with the preachers and imams of mosques. The president of Bahrain Basketball Association, Sheikh Isa bin Ali Al Khalifa, met today with the Omani Minister of Interior, Hamoud bin Faisal Al Busaidi. Sheikh Isa hailed the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Oman, highlighting their cooperation and coordination in various fields. He affirmed the depth of historic relations and strategic partnership between the two countries and the keenness to reinforce cooperation in all fields for the benefit of both people. For his part, the Omani Minister welcomed Sheikh Isa and affirmed the importance importance of the visit which reflects the depth of relations between the two countries. The capital governorate continued its efforts to amend and remove the irregularities in the slums. Governor of the capital, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, paid a field visit to House Number One Thousand, which included the criteria to be included in the appropriate housing out of the one thousand thirty houses monitored so far. The team included security and safety requirements in ninety-seven percent of the buildings within five years, while the remaining of the houses are under construction during the coming period. In a statement on the occasion, the governor said that the practical steps taken by the team comprising of the Capital Governor Police Department, the Ministry of Labor, the Ministry of Health, the Secretariat of the Capital, the Electricity and Water Authority and the Civil Defense to make sure that the security and safety requirements are included in it and that will be reflected positively on the urban aspects of the Capital Manama. The Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs announced that the Ramadan Sighting Panel will convene in the Council's Auditorium on the evening of Tuesday, May the 15th of 2018 in order to receive testimonies from witnesses or news reported in the Islamic world regarding the sighting of the month of Ramadan's new moon. The Council issued a statement urging all Muslims to look out for the new moon of Ramadan and to appear before the Sighting Panel in order to give testimonies. The Ministry of Foreign Affairs of the Kingdom of Bahrain strongly condemns the targeting of unarmed Palestinian civilians by the Israeli occupation forces which resulted in the death and injury of dozens of victims. The ministry warns against the grave dangers and negative repercussions of the serious provocation in the occupied Palestinian territories, stressing its total rejection of the use of force in the face of peaceful marches that call for the rights of the Palestinian people. The ministry affirms Bahrain's firm position and support to the legitimate rights of the Badli Palestinian people, foremost of which is the right to establish their independent state on the borders of June the 4th of 1967 with East Jerusalem as its capital. <laughs> 